Ciao guys, I'm Magnazard and I've been hearing some crazy rumours about fighting Climactic Ignition as of late along with the leak of the new character Eiko Tamaki, who I will get to later, don't worry. The rumour in question is one about Love Live of all things being put into fighting Climax. I'm not going to confirm or deny any rumours, but that brings me to discuss the possibility of such a thing happening and you may find it interesting. So without further ado, let's get into all the dirty details. First of all, I'm going to speak my opinion on the subject. A Love Live rep is an easy way for me to get a few money. It seems a more likely choice for a rep is Honoka and she's my favourite character from the franchise, so that would be fine by me. I could gush on and on about how much I'd love to see one of the girls from Love Live in a fighter bar, I only have a few minutes to talk in your video. So instead of babbling on about my opinion, let's look at the facts. What does Love Live have in its favour for a rep? You know, besides its immense worldwide popularity. But that is a good point! Notice that Sword Art Online in a certain magical index got a rather hefty amount of reps this time around as well as the regular Magic High, which I've been told is rather popular in Japan as well. Now that we've gotten the popularity out of the way, let's address the elephant in the room. Does Love Live really count as a Dengeki Bunko franchise? Well, yes and no. You see, Love Live originated in 2010 under Dengeki G's, which, if you couldn't guess from the name, is rather related to Dengeki Bunko as both were published by ASCII Media Works. Well, it's not exactly Dengeki Bunko, it is under the same company, so it could be within fairly easy reach. It's not just that though, in fact the director of the game, Takahara Tarada, has not only acknowledged what I just explained, but he's also expressed interest in having the Love Live rep in fighting Clayback. In an interview with Dengeki PlayStation, he stated, I'm also gunning for Love Live. Since Love Live is a Dengeki work, I want the girls to be playable if we make another installment of Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. And ultimately, it'd be interesting if we could get characters from novels of other companies. Not only that, but this interview was released in 2014 and Sega have announced and released another Fighting Climax installment since then, Fighting Climax Ignition. The chance for characters outside the Dengeki Bunko label was acknowledged too, so Dengeki G's is definitely still in the game. This all goes together quite well, but does it mean the planets and stars are all lining up for this to happen? Of course it doesn't. This is all rather arbitrary knowledge which could or could not lead to the conclusion fans want it to. After all, like I said, Love Live is popular and while I recently mentioned franchises like Sword Art Online, Index and Irregular within an easy arm's reach, Sega would need to reach harder to find one of the girls from Muse and Fighting Climax. I know, I know, I said they were within easy reach, but I'm sort of right. Another thing to me that holds Muse Cross Ignition back is the introduction of the Sunshine Project and Aquas. From what we can see, from the game becoming more related to Aquas by the second, as well as Muse's last solo life this year, it seems like Lantis and Bushy Road just want to leave Muse behind in favour of the new group. However, Aski seems to be holding on strong to Muse in the manga adaption, at least as far as I see it. So, what? What does this mean for the chances of Honoka or Katori or Hani on Fighting Climax? Where's my best girl? Well, nothing! I'm not a Sega or Ask, you're a member of Muse. I'm just some guy on YouTube who talks about fighting games, so I don't really have a say in what the end result is. After all, this is just info that could be used for any speculation related to Fighting Climax's next DLC characters. Among the represented roster of characters under the Dengeki Bunko label and more, I feel like Love Life has a pretty decent chance of being represented if we're getting any DLC characters after Eiko Tamaki or UK at all. Now it's your turn. Would you like to see a Love Live Rev and Fighting Climax? If so, why? If not, why not? Leave your opinions in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. But until then, I am Magnazard. Stay golden, everyone.